So earlier today, Matt Lesher, who plays Eobard Thawne on The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow, did a quick video with his explanation for what's going on with Eobard and his place in the timeline as far as he knows. So careful for spoilers if you guys don't want to know anything about this season of Legends. So this week on Legends, Eobard made a reference to Cisco and Caitlyn, which had a lot of us scratching our heads trying to figure out exactly which version of Eobard this is. Is it the Eobard who got all the way to the end of season one of The Flash? Or is it the Eobard that left Barry back at the beginning of season three of The Flash? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty confusing. Well, Matt did a video, which I will link in the info box, but I'm gonna use some snippets here of giving us his ideas of a timeline for Eobard based on what he's been told, which is pretty sound, but it still doesn't explain the Cisco and Caitlin comments. Uh, here's the snippet. How's it going? Uh, I'm not great at this, but I will do my best to uh, talk about what I understand about Eobard Thawne's timeline um, as it relates to what we've seen so far on The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow. Timeline are uh, going all the way back here. This is where he kills Nora, right? This is this is this is as far back in the timeline as he goes. He kills Nora, as far as we know. Maybe he went back further. Who knows? Um, up here is, let's say, in the middle here somewhere, right here is where Eddie kills himself. So Eddie Thawne, my my God, my handwriting's terrible. Kills himself. So from this point forward, everything, you know, from, from then Eobard ceases to exist. So anytime he traveled back in time to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, anything he did in there is gone, right? That's all gone. Um, any time travel he may have done before this moment, including killing Nora, um, that all still exists because Eddie still exists before this moment. So this version, the only part of Eobard Thawne that's still alive is this, in this section of time, wherever he stopped or where he is in the speed force here. So Barry pulls him out of this, and, and this includes Star Labs, right? Uh, this includes the event that created Barry the Flash. Um, so all this stuff, Eobard still exists in, and that's the Eobard that Barry pulls out of the timeline for Flashpoint, which is changing Nora. So, so Eobard cannot go back and kill Nora, right? Um, and then that's the Eobard that is, now that he's been pulled out of this timeline, he's being chased by Black Flash, right? And so that, <laughs> sorry for the terrible handwriting. This is, this is the Legends of Tomorrow timeline over here. This is where he is now. He's being chased by Black Flash, and this is his sole purpose on Legends of Tomorrow, is to get ahead of it, to get away from him, to, um, to get himself back into, uh, well, this is why he wants the Spear of Destiny, so he can literally rewrite reality. And if he can rewrite reality, he can rewrite anything in this timeline. Well, that's kind of interesting. Uh, here's a, also a couple of tweets from Matt, which again, try to help us understand, but ultimately just leave me a little bit more confused. The problem is if we go by his chart, then the Eobard on Legends shouldn't know anything about Cisco and Caitlin. You see the season three Eobard would have left before he ever went into Star Labs as well. Reason being, if he is the season one Eobard, the same Eobard from back then, then he would be the one that is erased by Eddie before he can actually leave and go over to Legends as we saw at the end of The Flash. If he isn't the one that stayed for the entirety of season one, then he would literally have no interactions with Cisco and Caitlyn. So this chart makes sense to me, but the comments on Legends don't. 
Season one, Eobard was erased at the end of the season. That is still happening. He made that comment here in his chart. This Eobard is the time remnant that Barry pulled from his uh, from killing Nora and took him into Flashpoint, which means he couldn't have stayed for season one. He did, in fact, leave and go over to Legends. So yes, it's still very confusing, but I do have to thank Matt for taking his time out of the day for doing his best to explain this for us. I'm still really confused. I still have my Legends rant review coming up uh, for you guys, but I just wanted to make this video and talk a little bit about it to see if there was some explanation. I don't get it. To me, it seems like there's still some conflict there. Do you guys think that this explanation helps for you? Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about his chart and how he explained what's going on with the Eobard. All right, take care, guys. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I will catch you later.